Yep. So, Mr. Ndong, there you are. It's time for the World Cup. I don't know whether we start with the serious things or the non-serious things. I'm not sure which one it is you want. Even non-serious things, I don't even know what to start. There's so many things happening. Non-serious ones. It's so many. Th- Let's start with a tweet. Yes. From Badvisor. Yes. They said, well, this is awkward. <laughs> Alafu immediately alimina ka delete. Eh akaambiwa eh. Najua email zili fly, masimu zili fly. Wakasema no no no. Una choma, una choma. Tunajua ni kubaya lakini you have gone too far. Toa hiyo hiyo hapa una choma. Yes. So yeah, of course the background to that, uh, the context to that particular tweet was uh FIFA uh, and the organizers did uh, what we call an about turn. Mm. Uh, regarding the decision to have alcohol being sold uh, around 3 days to the tournament. 3 days to the tournament. <laughs> so <laughs> So it had, it has meant that uh, one of the top uh, sponsors, uh, the, the, I don't know what levels they have of sponsorship, mm. uh, Budweiser had to now rest, re-strategize because they had a lot of activations and stuff that they were planning to do around, around the, the stadium. Around the stadium, you can imagine the amount of investment. You had already pitched tent, maybe like you had already set up. You know the Americans like doing their things uh, uh, beforehand mm. with a lot of noise and a lot of uh, mambuembe. I remember 2014. I, I I know. I remember bad ways. I was where I was. Okay, I was not staying near the hotel. I was, it was a distance from where the actually was near where the FIFA executive committee was staying, and also bad ways that the sponsors were staying. So they that entire street they had done a lot of things. So now you can imagine what will be happening because I, I'm interested in finding out why they made they had their about turn. I think there's a lot of pressure that came from the top 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 Kabisa. The the, the, the I think the brother. Uh, to the Emir. Yes. Someone who said, by the way, what are we doing here? What, what's going on? So we, we switch this thing. Uh, alcohol. So they said, no, no, no. So what basically it means is they are not selling alcohol in the stadiums unless you are in the, in the, in the, in the, in the what are they called? Those boxes. See those executive boxes? Yes. Which I think the cheapest is 19,000 pounds ah, per kidogo, game. Pesa kidogo, yo. 19,000 yeah. only. Uh, <laughs> ah. That is what that is what I use for. Yeah, I'm joking. I wish. I wish. <laughs> so if not, so you have to go to the fan festival zones. Yes. Yes. That's where you get your bad visa, and it's four. Each is twelve pounds, and it's four. Four. What One, do you mean? two, three. Sine. Four per person. I'm lost. What do you mean four per person? Hey, you buy a drink. One, drink two, drink three, drink four. Tambiana is. So you only allowed four. Yes. So what if look at this? You know, you know people who want to spend a good enjoy. You know, there's a World Cup, there's a festival. So what you do? Na chapa zako ne apa? Unenda kwenye na chapa zako ne kwenye. Like you know, you are not supposed to be drunk, eh? So you know there are those sobering zones. Oh, so unless you so know, now you see, up, look, uh, look at it this way, Wakabi. Eh? Uh-huh. <laughs> they are sobering zones. So for them to be utilized, you have to be to that level where you need to be sober. It either makes sense, kama kama ziko apa na zijatumika. So you you do your business. So that now ukienda sobering zone au leo tuwapati kazi ya kufanya ku manage sobering zone wako na kazi. Unaona? Because imagine an empty sobering zone and you've invested all that money. Hey, this football <laughs> is complicated man. It's, it's really really complicated. Anyway, it's one of those things that but then we all knew this was going to happen. Yes. The World Cup this war, particular World Cup was always going to be with interesting twists and turns, you know, because of why it's being held. Yes. Uh, and the fact that and, and I agree with what Hugo Lloris said, the French captain. He said, listen, when you go to a country, you've got to respect them. If you come to France, you've got to respect some of the things that us, the French, do. So we are in Qatar, we've got to respect them. So I, and, and I completely get him, and I agree with him. You've got to find a way and respect the culture and the traditions that you meet where you go. Yes. So I get that, and I agree with it 100%. It's just that now people have to find ways of dealing with it. I know the funny thing is, you know, there'll be also social media campaigns that will be happening as well. Um, because I, I just got something from FIFA and they sent a release. They were saying that uh, they have partnered with some of the, uh, I think UNESCO. They'll be running uh, social media campaigns during the World Cup. So they'll be having specific hashtags uh, during the different levels of the tournament. So round one, they have Football Unites the World, Save the Planet. I, I, and you see which one is missing. Mm-hmm. And you'll know it's very convenient. Save the Planet, Protect the Children, Share the Meal. Uh, that's for the different levels. Round one, group stage. Round two, round three. Round of 16, Education for All, Football for Schools. Quarterfinals, no discrimination. I wonder what they are, they are trying to push for that one. No, dis- no racism. Yes. Hey, like, just to be clear. Yes. Racism. Yes. So, Kunengine Mbao, of course, uh, remember the Germans. Um, for the, I think it was it the Germans who had, uh, uh, they were advocating for, of course, the issues of um, same sex and all yeah, that. Yeah, and you talk about inclusivity. Inclusivity. So, uh, be active, bring the moves. That is for the semi finals. Uh, third place and final football is joy. Football unites the world. Uh, this one, you just, you know, you come to the catch in his thesaurus. 
Kwa sema itutweke nini hapa itweke hii. Mm. Itweke hii itweke hii. Because make sure you are leaving no chance for other things to happen. Exactly run. and be very clear. And you saw the US, the US are doing uh, their they you see the way their 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 logo has the stripes going down. Yes, yes. Those ones they are putting them the LGD uh, the LGBTQ. Yes. Colors. Yeah. Walisema hii ndio sisi tunaweka. Yes. Interesting. Na nikaambia kwa limo ni sawa tu lakini unajua wako huko tu game tatu kama wamerudi nyumbani. Mhm. Eh so wanaweza weka. Wataeka tu. 1 2 3 But you know the the funny thing is once the action starts it's a wrap. All yeah, those yeah. things what was saying. Yes and and uh, we are talking about the price of beer in the fan zone is 11 pounds 60. So 12 pounds. Yeah. That's like that's expensive, eh? It is very expensive. It is it is it is expensive. There will be remember all all the stadiums. You know the the farthest distance between the stadiums. Mm. It's uh, 40 miles. The stadiums that are farthest from each other. Mm. It's 40 miles. Kila kitu kwa and, and you know the thing is if if there's somebody if you if you're planning to go for the World Cup I think this is one of the rarest opportunities where you get a chance to actually go to all eight facilities. If I was if I was planning for this year's World Cup if I was planning to go I'd actually make a point of trying to attend a game in every stadium mm. because they are not too far off from each other. It's not no, like not. it's not like uh, 2014 I was based in Rio de Janeiro there's a game that was happening in Manaus I don't know in, in Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo, I think in, and there's another one that was happening in in uh, uh, Brasilia. It was like and you know you know you know you know Brasilia is a, is a sub, you look at it like a subcontinent. Yes, yes, as I was going to say Brazil is not a place where Massive. you just cross. It's got three different time zones. Yes. So if you're in Rio you go okay to Rio. Okay to Rio. Maybe I remember just I was just I was just based in Rio and Nikaka huko. At least for Russia. Okay, even Russia is up. Actually Russia is the biggest Jigar. country in large, yes. in, in landmass. Yes. Yeah, so If anyone is going for Qatar, let's stop looking at the negatives because these always have these things talking around. I think let's look at the positives. You have an opportunity to actually go and watch a game in every stadium. Now the only challenge is availability of tickets. Because kila mtu anakimbia huko. Yes, and some of those is, like you said, there are eight stadiums and seven of them uh we, seven of the eight will have seats removed after the tournament. Seven of eight. Seats okay, zinatolewa zinaenda kupewa watu ambao wako kwa nchi ambazo zinaendelea. Uh, so Kenya should line up there. Uh, and then only one of the eight grounds will be the home of a football team afterwards. I don't know what they're going to do with the rest of them. Only one. That's the thing. And you know Al Rayyan, that's the one uh, it's called Ahmad Ahmad bin Ali Stadium. Mm-hmm. Yes. In total, all 200,000 seats will be removed from the grounds and according to the organizers, they will be gifted to developing countries after the final. Sinimwambia Kenya mpange line. Eh, pale kwa developing stadiums to at least tuweke vita nini nyayo i hope atapeana floodlights pia and one of the stadiums of course is the famous stadium 974 yes which apparently is made up of containers yes i eh. found that very unique that tumaliza tunatoa hizo tunapea kila mtu it looks like you've been to dubai sevens yeah eh, no, Dubai actually funny i've not been to dubai, dubai sevens no 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 dubai sevens is it's is scaffolding yes eh mali tu kwa in the middle of the desert scaffolding so ina ina kangwa tukifika hiyo time See, even that's what they use for this uh, qualifiers I, pre- I presume. Bas, same same. That is the way. So it's it's that, that's 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 one of the one of the things I was seeing. Uh, but then they're saying the tickets have been sold so much it could, it will be one of the best attended World Cups ever. 3 million. Though there's the theory that there's some people who are being paid 10 dollars a day to come and watch a game, eh? Ni sawa. Oh, bora ticket man. Yeah, bora numbers Because okay. you know you, you know you know the thing is you know sometimes eh sometimes you have to use unconventional means as long as it's not strange and it's because even bottom line even if somebody has paid for you to be at the stadium you're in this you're in the world cup the next time it's happening is in four years four, is it four years yes four years mm. so ukienda ni uwanja the list of your problems is like zume lipiwa zume there's a more of a moral issue wewe uko kwa uwanja wewe una watch game wewe watch game wewe uko hapo unaona messi wewe uko hapo unaona wewe umelipwa moja lipo unaona messi wewe unaona messi unaona lebrona umekuwa ukiona kwa silver screen ndio huyo hapo unaona kichukuna mgongo Yeah, it, it doesn't matter by ah, it, doesn't matter. it doesn't matter. It it's, doesn't matter. Me personally, I'm paid to watch. Mm. I'll go every Maramonja. game. Li- uh, by the way, is that link? If there's a link ni tumia ramu ni jaribu. Mm. Yeah, to know whether they yes. get you eh, to fill the stadium. Anyway, uh, like I said, drinking alcohol in public spaces outside the areas which are the fan zones uh, is prohibited. If you are caught with it, prison sentence of six months, I'm a fine of 700 pounds. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Hizo vitu zingine zote mimi I'm not interested. Mimi niko too interested na games zinaanza, zinaanza kesho when we come back, uh, Mr. Ndong will tell us what he what what team is supporting, what he thinks about the Africans, what na na na. ETC ETC. Meanwhile, if you like your rugby, uh, Ricky 